Hey everybody, Neil Malik from Knack Training here, bringing you another everyday office video. And in today's video, I'd like to describe to you how XLOOKUP doesn't just replace VLOOKUP, doesn't just replace index and match, but actually replaces VLOOKUP, index and match, HLOOKUP, and even the use of IFNA in many situations. Now, let's take a look at the lookup functions in general. The base concept of the lookup function is that we have some type of information to begin with, and we know that we want to match it up with something else. We want to look up this information and bring the relevant information in. For example, in this instance, we have a bunch of data about our employees. And we can see ourselves using the information about these employees over and over and over again. And let's say that we have a class coming up, and we have a certain number of employees who registered for that class. Now, in order to send them the information that they need to attend that class, we need to get their email address. So, what are we going to do? We're going to look up their email address. Now, what normally we would do is we would use VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is called that because it stands for Vertical Lookup, and that's because the data is arranged going down the page vertically. Now, in a VLOOKUP, you have to tell it, here's the entire data set, and it will only ever look in the leftmost column for a match, and then after it finds a match, it will then look to the right from that place to give you some useful piece of information. So, of course, in this situation right here, VLOOKUP would be totally fine. It would look vertically down the page for the right employee ID number, and once it found the right employee ID number, it could then go to the right side of this table and retrieve the appropriate email address. But what XLOOKUP lets you do is not be tied to any big data set and not be tied to this left and right concept, but rather to be able to simply point out that there's one column of data that has the matching information and another column of information that we want to retrieve from. So let's see how XLOOKUP can improve our work in this spreadsheet. I'll start off with the absolute basics. This is what I would normally use VLOOKUP for, but here we'll use XLOOKUP. We go to cell D6 and we say, yes, I want the email address of this employee. So I go up to the formulas tab at the top of the screen. I find the lookup and reference drop down menu and I find XLOOKUP. And here it asks me for the employee ID number, basically. What is the value you're trying to look up? So I click in cell C6. Next, you notice here it doesn't ask me for the entire table. It instead says, what is the array of cells where I'm going to be able to find a match for the lookup value? So here I highlight the entire J column and press F4 to put the dollar signs on that reference. And then it asks me, where are the set of cells that need to be returned once we find a match in the lookup array? And here we can simply highlight the email column and again press F4 to put the dollar signs on. And when I click OK, it turns out that this first employee is Tabarak Farouk right there. And in fact, it did find employee 5997. I can then click on that first email address I've retrieved, put my mouse in the bottom right hand corner and double click, and autofill the rest of the email addresses. But here, everybody, let's go the opposite direction. Let's say that we have their email address and we then want to retrieve their year to date sales, which is to the left of the email address. This is something VLOOKUP wouldn't be able to do, and this is the sort of thing that people normally used index and match for. But here with XLOOKUP, it's incredibly easy to do. It follows the exact same pattern you just watched me use. I go to cell E6 on the Formulas tab, on the Lookup and Reference drop-down menu, I pick XLOOKUP. I say that my lookup value, let's go this time with the email address, cell D6, and the lookup array is the P column over here on the right-hand side. 
Again, press F4 to put dollar signs on that reference. So now you're going to find the email address in the rightmost column, and the return array will be over here in the middle, the year-to-date sales value. Again, press F4 to lock down that reference to the end column, and we should easily be able to retrieve the year-to-date sales of each of those employees. And so this demonstrates to you that XLOOKUP is perfectly capable of directly replacing VLOOKUP and directly replacing INDEX and MATCH. And interestingly here, if I go over to my next tab, you'll see that it can also replace HLOOKUP, which is to say it can look horizontally instead of vertically. So if we decided for some reason to put our data horizontally on the page, it's very easy to use XLOOKUP to look for this information. We go to cell F6, we go to the formulas tab, up at the top of the screen, hit the lookup and reference drop down menu and choose XLOOKUP. My lookup value is the year 2020, but the lookup array is now horizontal. It's the row I5 through O5. Again, I press F4 to put the dollar signs on that reference, and the return array is I6 through O6, and I press F4 to put the dollar signs on that reference. And when I click OK, let's go ahead and make sure, oh good, the uh, formatting changed. So I double click to auto fill down, and again, over and over again, it looks horizontally to try to retrieve the appropriate profit margin from the horizontal array. So that's pretty nice, right? You don't have to use VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, or INDEX and MATCH anymore, and XLOOKUP has a few more tricks up its sleeve.